Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So we all have seen these types of portable solar chargers. Uh, they come with a couple of USB ports, sometimes two and sometimes one. This particular one is from Suwauki and this is the 25 watt version. So as you can see if you unfold it you can see that there are two number of solar cells and there are multiple solar cells connected together either in series or in parallel to make up the final power. And at the end all the connections from the solar panels are connected to the USB ports inside as you can see there and this is basically a USB charge controller which regulates the voltage to a stable 5 volt and so in this video let's make our own DIY portable USB solar charger in this video I'm going to be using this uh, monocrystalline epoxy cells these are 165 by 165 millimeter cells uh, as the company claims I bought these from Aliexpress and they claim it to be a 6 volt panel and also it uh, they also claims uh, it to be a 0.7 amp uh, solar panel so let's quickly connect some wire to the terminals and see whether they are actually 6 volt and how much current they are producing so let's put some shoulder on the pads and attach some wire on the solar panels Okay, so the soldering iron is hot and we are ready to melt some solder on the shoulder pads. Uh, before we do that, uh, let me tell you I'm not very good at soldering, so you will have to bear with me. So all we have to do is heat up the pad a little bit and then feed in some solder. There we go. Let's do the other pad as well. Okay, we've got both the pads done. Let's shoulder some wire, a black to the negative. That's done. And a white wire to the positive. Usually we use a red wire for the positive, but because I don't have red wire right as this at this moment, I'm using a white wire. got a good connection now okay let's take this solar panel under the sunlight and see whether we are getting 6 volt or not we will measure the open circuit voltage as well as the short circuit current and we will see how much uh, current and voltage we are getting from this solar panel okay so to measure the open circuit voltage we will need to change our multimeter setting from uh, off to the 20 volt setting there we go and now I'm going to connect the black wire to the black of the, that is the negative of the solar panel. That's done. Let me do the red wire as well. And we are done. Let's take this contraption in the, under the sunlight and see what reading we are getting out of it. So here we are under the sunlight. Let's, as you can see, I've connected the negative to the black probe of the multimeter, and the positive of the solar panel is connected to the uh, red of the multimeter. And let's flip the solar panel so that it is facing the sun. And now, as you can see, it is facing the sun. And let's take a look at our multimeter. So we are getting about 6.63 volt. And if I tilt the angle to face the sun, we're getting a maximum of 6.7, 6.79 volts. So we are good with the voltage. Now to test the current, all we have to do is change our probe, uh, red probe from the 200 milliampere fuse socket to the 10 ampere maximum socket. And then we will do the uh, uh, short circuit current testing. And to do that, we will need, need to change our multimeter from 20 volt setting to the 10 ampere maximum. So let me just do that. So taking out the red probe from the fuse socket and then changing the multimeter to the 10 ampere maximum setting. As you can see, we are at 10 ampere setting and now reconnecting the 
red grove to the 10 ampere max port and we are getting about 0.2 milliamperes and if I face it towards the sun the maximum we are able to get is 0.3 milliamperes so it was uh, not it is not exactly 0.7 amp which the company was claiming so it is giving me 0.3 amps so if I connect two such panels I will get about uh, 6.8 amps 0.68 uh, amps which is going which is uh, much less than what the company is claiming so let's quickly take the solar panel inside and connect the other solar panel together and then we will uh, continue with our project okay so now that we have seen our solar panel is giving us a voltage of we are getting a voltage of about 6.7 uh, volt and we are from one solar panel we are getting a current of about uh, 35 0.35 amps which is equals to a value of 350 milliamps so in order to get our final uh, uh, power we will need to connect our two solar panels in parallel so in parallel connection let's say we have a single solar panel like this and another solar panel like this forgive me for my drawing I'm not very good at drawing stuff so we've got one solar panel and another solar panel this is the positive of this solar panel this is the negative of this solar panel positive of this solar panel and a negative of this solar panel so in parallel the voltage remains same and the current changes so in this case if one panel is giving us 6.7 volt this panel is also giving us 6.7 volt so the final voltage that is V final is going to be 6.7 volt and in parallel the current adds up so the current final current is going to be the sum of this solar panel and the sum of this solar panel which is going to be uh, two times of 0.35 amp that is two times of 350 milliamps because we are getting 350 milliamp from single solar panel and if we add two solar panel in parallel we will get a multi uh, twice as uh, amp current as of single solar panel so the twice of 350 is going to be about uh, 70 700 milli amp okay now that we've got so the way we are going to connect our solar panel is going to be we, we will connect the positive of one solar panel to the positive of other solar panel and the negative of one solar panel to the negative of other solar panel so we've got our two solar panels as you can see uh, on top uh, we've got our positive and our negative I've connected a wire and this will then connect to our uh, second solar panel like that so this is the positive and this is the negative so this wire from one solar panel will go to the positive of this one and the negative wire from the other solar panel is go to the negative of other solar panel that way we will be able to connect our solar panels in parallel of course I'm not going to be using these wires because as we know uh, this is going to be a foldable solar panel and if we are going to be folding this and unfolding this the wire can get damaged instead of using these wires I'm going to be using a solder wick and if you don't know what a solder wick is it is basically a copper uh, braided wire which is very much flexible and it is used for sucking up shoulder so if you mess up a shoulder joint you use a solder wick to wick uh, or to absorb the shoulder that is uh, that you've messed up uh, and because a solder wick is much more flexible uh, it can withstand a very large number of bends in either direction so instead of these wires in in the final build we are going to be using uh, the solder wicks so as, as we have connected the two solar panels together in parallel the final connection is going to be uh, we will take a positive connection from any of the solar panel and the negative connection from any of the solar panel let's say this one and then we will use a charge controller like this one although this uh, contraption is going to be very less power but I chose a bigger charge controller with two USB ports because I plan to uh, ex uh, scale this project in future and add more number of solar panels so here is the charge controller that I'm going to be using uh, this comes with two USB ports and uh, a small LED that lets you know whether these you are getting a solar power or not and this can convert uh, from 6 volt uh, to 9 or 12 volts into a stable 5 volt output as you can see we've got output 1 and output 2 so that we got two USB ports and this solar charger uh, solar uh, uh, controller can support up to 
I'm not sure whether the company, what the company claims is true or not, but on the page, uh, it said that it can support up to uh, three or four amperes. So uh, you can add more number of solar panels in this setup, making sure that your current doesn't exceed exceed four amperes. So in this, uh, you basically have two points. Let me just show you. There you go. As you can see, we've got our positive and our negative sides. So the final wire that will come from the solar panel, the positive will connect to the positive of the charge controller and the negative will then connect to the negative of the charge controller. And the final output we will get from here which is going to be a stable 5 volt output and this is our electronic circuit basically done. So let me just complete that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay so let's follow this schematic here and connect the positive of this solar panel to the positive of the second solar panel and since the wire that I was using previously were a little small so I'm going to use a little bigger wire this time and unfortunately I don't have different colors wired at this time so I'm using this wire as you can see one wire is stripped with white and the other wire is not stripped so the stripped wire is going to be the positive wire so let's connect the positive of the one panel to the positive of the other panel so the stripped wire connect to the positive of one panel let me just connect that okay that's connected let's connect the positive of this panel to the positive of other panel so it's connected and then connect the negative of the first panel it's connected to the negative of the second panel that's a little difficult done okay now the both the positive of both the panels are connected together and the negative of both the panels are connected together let's connect a separate wire to the positive of the uh, one panel so this is going to connect to the positive of this panel Let me just make sure we're getting a good connection. So the positive is connected to the positive of the panel. It's now connected and then negative is going to connect to the negative of the panel. There we go. Nice connection. And now let's connect our solar charge controller to the final setup. So let's review what we've done so far. So we've basically connected the positive of one solar panel to the positive of other and the negative of first to so this negative of second. And then we've connected two wires to the uh, one of the solar panel. And from there we got one of uh, the wire is our positive. The stripped wire is our positive and the non-stripped wire is our negative. On our charge controller you can see that we've got two terminals, one is the positive and the other one is negative. So let's connect our positive wire to the positive terminal of the charge controller and negative to the negative of our charge controller. So let me just tin these before I solder them. So let's connect the wire to the positive of the charge controller and the negative wire to the negative of the charge controller. So the stripped wire is the uh, positive one. So let's connect that to the charge controller. That's connected, not connected. Let me just extend the wire a little bit.
okay connected the positive now let's connect the negative to the negative of the charge controller and we are connected okay so our basic electronic part is complete let's take this contraption under the sunlight and try to charge something off of it and let's see whether this will this is able to charge something or not so here is our contraption as you can see i've laid both the solar panels under the sunlight i'm using this pillow to tilt the solar panel so that i'm getting maximum sunlight by the way this is about 4 pm here so i'm not going to be getting the maximum uh, uh, potential of this solar charger so we've connected the wire to the charge controller and as you can see on the charge controller the LED is glowing that means so far the uh, system is working fine we're getting power and here is our multimeter set to measure the voltage open circuit voltage and it is set to measure 20 volt here is I've connected a USB cable to the charge controller which is terminating into uh, these two wires red wire and a black wire so I've got a black probe here here and I've got a red probe here so I'm using this let's connect both of them together let me just do that I don't have a tripod so I'm using my same hand to do this and as you can see when both both the wires are connected I'm getting a voltage of 5.2 volts which is what you normally need to charge your USB gadgets that means the solar charger is working fine all we need to do is plug in a phone and let's see whether it is able to show up the charging symbol on the phone or not so there you go this is the uh, electronics part of the solar charger diy portable usb solar charger is complete in the next video we will be seeing how to fabricate this into a professional looking solar charger i'm not very good at sewing also getting the cloth for uh, fabricating the solar charger is going to be difficult but it will take me some time to find all the supplies that i need to make this uh, project complete and we will do that in the next video but before that let me just uh, show you connecting a phone to it and we will see whether it is uh, uh, giving any charge or not okay so here is the phone that we are going to charge this is the samsung z1 let's remove the broken usb connector that we are using we were using to uh, measure the measure the current i've got a usb cable here let's connect the usb cable to the uh, charge controller so the usb cable is connected to the charge controller you can still see that the led is glowing on the charge controller let's connect that to the phone and so it is connected as you've heard the beep and as you can probably see that we are charging and it is at 61% Let's check back after 5 minutes and let's see how much charge we are able to get. By the way, we got about 4-12 uh, pm and let's check back after 5 minutes, that is after 5 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes now and let's see how much charge we got on our phone. As you can see that we started at about 61% and we got 68% now. It's been about 15-16 minutes, so in 15 or 16 minutes it's charged the phone uh, about 7%. Uh, so not very fast, but it does prove the concept that it can work. So this was my video on a DIY USB portable solar charger. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next video. And in the next video we will try to fabricate this solar uh, contraption into a professional looking charger so if you want to see that video please consider subscribing to my channel i will see you guys in the next video bye